heaven. Bow down your heads and tell God, I am here for the first Sunday of the month of March. What I'm asking is double my income, double my greatness, double my honor, double, oh God, your grace upon me this month. Show up for me this month. Can you lift up your voice and begin to talk to God? Lord, double, double, double. I am here that you will double us, double us, double this congregation, double our spirituality, double our honor, double us, oh God. You are the God that gives double. You are the God that increases your people. Bible said when it came to Job, you increase him twice. Lord, increase your people. This month of March, do the incredibles. Let no man remain the same. Lord, show up for your people. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Father, thank you. Do what no man can do. In Jesus' name, and everybody say amen. Please, Lift up your head and look up for a second. I have about four people that a question was thrown to them. One of them is in the book of 2 Kings, the second chapter and verse 9. The man asks Elisha, I am about to be taken out from this world. I'm about to be taken. Ask me what you want me to do he was not saying that what you want god to do for you say that ask me what you want me to do and the man said i want double can i hear double of your spirit the man said this is a hard thing but you get it because it is possible thank you that is the first asking. The second one is in the same second case chapter 4. That woman is, was something else because the prophet of God asked her, should I introduce you to the king or the captain of the host? Second king chapter 4 verse 13. The woman said, no, I dwell among my people. And the man of God didn't know what to do for this woman. And he too said the same thing. He said that, what, what, you have done all this thing for me. What can I do for you? So I'm not talking about God doing. That is why I believe this man, somebody will sing you out in Jesus' name. Yeah. The men are, were asking, this man, Elisha said to the woman, so what do you want? So the, the, the servant, Gehazi, came in and said that, huh? The woman hasn't got a child. Can you give her a child? So the man of God said to the woman, by this time next year, you have a child. You know what the woman said? He said, nay, don't lie to me. Now some of you, I'm going to say some things, and it will be in your ears, Pastor, are you lying to me? But God will honor his word in your life in Jesus' name. The Bible declares that he said, man of God, don't lie to me because... I, 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 the way it is, I don't think I will ever have a child. And if you're here in this room and the devil is telling you this thing, today by the power of the blood, this month of March, may God visit you in Jesus' name. Amen. That's the second request. The third request by a man also telling, or let me use Jesus. Let me talk about Jesus. In Matthew 20, Jesus, there were blind men that came to Jesus. And when the blind man came, you are expecting that a blind man coming to Jesus, all what Jesus is supposed to do is know that he's blind, so he has to heal him. But Jesus asked them, what do you want me to do for you? I'm, sh I'm going somewhere, so follow me. These are uh, 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 three individuals that every one of them say, they were asking them, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? And every one of them has something to say to get their miracle. By the blood of Jesus, before the end of this month, may somebody come to you and ask you, what do you want me to do? And you will tell him the right thing in Jesus' name. Yeah. You see, listen, listen to this, listen. They ask, Jesus asked them, what do you want me to do? And 
they told Jesus, we want to see. And Jesus said, be seen. And they started seeing. What I'm trying to say is this. So Peter now went to the temple to pray. And the Bible declared there was a man who has been crippled and sitting down at one spot all her life. For 40 years he has been crippled. But Peter saw him and he said, silver and gold have I none, but such as I have. See, I'm telling you what men through the power of God did for people. By the blood of Jesus, I'm prophesying upon somebody that, that by the blood of this man, may God visit you with his favor in the name of Jesus. I said God will visit you with his favor. If you believe, can I hear louder? Amen. Listen, the woman, when the man of God prophesied, said, you are lying to me. Why? And some people are here saying, Pastor, again, I've heard this prophecy before. I heard that uh, something, but mark the word of God this month of March. God will visit you in Jesus' name. Because this book is loaded with people who show the power of God in terms of increase. I like Jacob. He said, I cross this Jordan, book of Genesis 32. I cross Jordan with my only staff. But here I am. I am coming with two bands of people. By the blood of Jesus. Let me say it again. Somebody is receiving double this month in Jesus' name. See, if you, if, if you get all your salary every time, there's nothing wrong about having salary. But when increase comes, the laughter and the joy is more than when you are just having the salary every day. If you have just... 200 on top of your salary. Are you going to be happy or not going to be happy? Come on, let me hear. I'm going to be happy. Oh, 200 more extra. It, it brings joy. Somebody putting gas of $20 in your car, it brings joy. And I don't know whom I'm speaking to. This man, the favor of God will visit you in Jesus' name. See, Peter said, such as I have. I know what I have. Friends, let me boast a little bit about the grace of God. Can I do that? Thank you, dear. I've been in this ministry for seven years, joining the CAC Church or organization. But for the first time in CAC, for somebody who was not originally CAC to be bar, to be part of the board of directors, only God, and I'm one of them. Can I hear? I hear you. That is favor. For the years of this great organization. This is the first time. So by the blood of Jesus, what I have is what I'm giving. The favor of God may he visit you in the name of Jesus. May God give you favor that everyone will know this is God, not man. Please hear this. Listen to that. Let me pull it in this way. He said, by my staff, I crossed this thing. But now I am going with two bands of people. Now let, let me say this as I close. God said that I'm just going to prophesy and pray with you. In Exodus 1, when you read verse 5, the Bible says 70 souls. Can I hear 70 souls? That Jacob brought to Egypt. But pastor, when they were living, they were not more a family. It was not more a family. It was a nation. There were tribes were created out of the 70. They moved as a nation from Egypt to the promised land. They were no more 70. So that means anything that God does, he always brings increase. I like David. He said, increase my greatness. Can somebody say, Lord, increase my greatness? Lord, increase my honor. Lord, increase my family. Some of us need more people, more children. Amen. 70 souls, but the day the God Almighty told them to depart, it was a whole nation. I mean, letting you know that when it comes to God, he loves increase because in the book of Isaiah 61 verse 7, that's where I'm ending it tonight. Look at it. Isaiah 61 verse 7. Please, everybody, that's where we are going to pray. He says, for your shame, you shall have double." And for confusion, they shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore, in their land, they shall...
possess the devil, everlasting joy shall be unto them. Who has a different translation? Who has a different translation, Amplify or any translation? It explains it better to this King James. Instead of your former shame. Instead of your former shame. You shall have a twofold recompense. Look at somebody and prophesy that instead of your former shame, you shall have two or double. Two or double. Let's say double. 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 Anything you have lost by the blood of Jesus, I declare, receive double in the name of Jesus. Read it more, Mama. He said, instead of your former shame, you shall continue. You shall have a twofold recompense. Twofold recompense. That's double. Continue. Instead of dishonor. Instead of dishonor. And reproach. And reproach. Your people shall rejoice in their portion. Say with me, by the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Instead of dishonor, of Jesus. I'll be honored. I'll be honored. Instead, of dishonor, instead of dishonor, I'll be lifted. I'll be I, refuse. I refuse shame. shame. Reproach. reproach. It's not my portion. This month of March, I declare by the blood, I will never be put to shame. In the name of Jesus, if you believe, can I hear? I hear you. Continue reading, Mama. Therefore, therefore, in their land, they shall possess double. In this land of America, may God cause you to possess double. I say possess double. Continue. What they had forfeited. Whatever you lost, you know some people lost so many things before they got here. Some of us, we have to do all kinds of things before we got to where we are. Bible says, whatever they are forfeited, they will receive double. Continue. But I, I want to show you the reason why double is good. Continue. Whatever, whatever they are forfeited, yes. everlasting joy shall be there. See, the reason why everlasting joy becomes, anytime you have double or increase, according to the word of God, there's what is called everlasting joy. And by the blood of Jesus, as God increased you this week and this month, may your joy increase and remain in the name of Jesus. He said everlasting joy shall be your portion. No sorrow, no pain, no distress. Everlasting joy. When Job lost everything, the book of Job 42 verse 10, and God this time asked him to pray for his friends, immediately he did that. Guess what? Bible says God this time increased Job or gave him double. Can I hear double? Double is a good thing. It's God's thing. That's why Jeremiah said, anyone that trouble me, may God Give them double destruction. Can I hear double destruction? Anyone that persecute you, we declare double. Anyone that trouble you, we declare double. Come on here, double destruction. Double destruction. It is God's way. I want to pray for everybody here in this house before we go into the next thing. I don't know what you are going through. That it looks like it is over. It looks like, it, it, because when Job was going through all the pain, everybody gave up on him. But God said, you don't know what I was doing. I'm going to give him double. Please stand up on your feet. I want to pray. I want to pray. You don't serve a dead God. Now the thing I'm going to ask is the same thing that every one of them asked. Jesus even asked, what do you want me to do for you? And he said, I want to see. The other one, he said, what do you want? He said, I need double of your spirit. The other one asked, what do you want me to do for you, madam? The madam said, I don't need nothing. The man of God said, are you sure? He said, no. Okay, the man, the, his servant said, he doesn't have a child. He said, okay, you're going to have a child. And the third thing, Peter said, I don't have silver. I don't have gold. But I have something. I have faith that can bring you up from that wretchedness. And by the power of God, immediately he released his faith. The man that was crippled for 40 years began to walk. Please, whatever you are, I don't know what you need from God. But I'm going to ask you the same question. What do you need from God? What do you need that I, by the grace of God upon me, would do for you? I, I, I don't have silver, I don't have gold. But the one thing I assure you I have is the favor of God. If you need favor, that is it. If you don't need favor, whatever you need, I believe my God is in this house. To meet your need. So please stretch your hand wherever you are. Stretch your hand to this altar wherever you are. 
and begin to talk to God. Lord, this is what I need. I am here for you to meet this need. Every one of them came. They have different needs. Every one of them have different needs. The need of Elisha was different from the need of the blind man. The need of the blind man were different from the need of the woman. The need of the woman was different from the crippled man. But every one of them, God made a way. This month of March, may God visit you. May God heal your body. May God deliver you. May God set you free. May God give you advantage over your enemies. May God lift you higher above your enemies. May God cause you to rejoice in everything you do in the name of Jesus lift up your voice lift up your voice what do you need God to do I believe he's in this house that same God that healed that cripple that brought him out from that wretchedness is touching you today in the name of Jesus that same God that came in for the man that was blind is coming in for you that same God that gave double to Elisha is coming upon you I believe double, I believe double for your joy, for your joy, for your satisfaction, for your lifting. Somebody is going out from here different. Jesus, touch them. Jesus, do it. Jesus, let it be done. Show them favor. Let them experience favor. Double favor this week. Double honor this week. Double lifting this week. Abba Father. Abba Father. Abba Father. Hey, Mayata Kalabaya. Spirit of the living God. In the name of Jesus. You are going to do me a favor. You are going to do me a favor. There's somebody close by you. You're going to pray for him or her. That what I have, I don't know what you have, but you may have something. That, that individual need every one of them say what do you need I, 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 and i will give you it was not something like a, i'm praying to i'm going to pray to god that god no he said elijah said what what do you want me to do for you he said i need double of your spirit he said what do you need for me to do for you elijah asked the woman and, and, and the woman said well i don't i don't need nothing but she didn't have a child so Gehazi said she has a, a problem she doesn't have a child. And Bible said that Elisha said, but this time next year you're going to have it. The other one said, I, I, I'm blind. Lord Jesus. Jesus said, what do you want me to do? He said, I want to see. Jesus said, let it be done. He was moved in compassion. And their eyes were open. And finally, Peter said, I don't have silver. I don't have gold. This is not my time of prayer point. It's my time of releasing what I have. He said, because all of them, because it's something they believe they had. He said, what do you want me to do? I have it. I can give you because God has given me that. So you are going to pray for that individual. Say, by the word of the Lord, by this month of March, whatever favor God has given me, whatever promotion God has put on me, whatever thing that God has done, I release it upon you. I pray it upon you. You are not going to go back the same. You will be celebrated. You will be seen double honor, double, 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 double. Come on, talk to God on behalf of that brother, on behalf of that sister. They need double. Whatever you have, yes, 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 yes. Jesus said, greater works than this shall you do. Because I go to the Father. Lord, do it, do it, do it, do it. Change your destiny. Let that man that is crippled begin to walk. Let that barren woman receive children. Lord, we prophesy this month of March. Let that be a turn around. Let that be turn around. Let that be healing. What I have, I give them. Lord, the power of God, the favor of God. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we pray. Listen, it is good to be, oh, God is going to do it. But when you know, that he said that what I have what do you want he said what do you want me to do it was even though people can put oh it was God I know God did it but God used men that knew their God and they spoke 
with alacrity, with every boldness, to tell them that it is possible. It is possible. And I thank God you pray for that individual. Please, wherever you are standing, I want to ask God one more time. I want to pray to, for you now. Lord, there are people amongst us that are going through all kinds of things. They are going through all kinds of issues. They have stepped their feet in this house. And this is the place where you have placed your name. You assure your son, Apostle Theo or Badari, that at any time anybody comes to your presence, you will touch them. I don't know what they are going through, what they are facing. But any shame, any reproach, anything that they have been denied, anything that the devil has hindered them not to have, I st we stand in this house. I release the power that is in the blood to manifest your glory in their lives. In the name of Jesus, this month of March, cause them to walk in the supernatural, in abundance, in prosperity, in promotion, in lifting, in every area of their life. I declare success in the name of Jesus. Thank you for what you have done. Thank you for the testimony you have given to us all. Blessed be your name, O oh God. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. Please take your seat in the presence of the Lord for one minute. I'm going to bring a man of God that, believe in me, at times we